Hi, it's August 30th, 2018, and it's my day off. Life is happening, it's all good. No reason to worry. I swear I had a thing here. Huh. Maybe I know. Sure. Oh, there it is. Hiding. Not from someone. Lost my shaving gel. It's probably. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing it. It's up here. It's up here. It is in the cupboard. The drawer that I don't open very often. There we are. Right, back to the thing. Today, we are going to talk about something that has really changed my theology and outlook on things simply by being introduced to it. Now, um, I'm talking about the divine simplicity. And I've mentioned this before. Making the distinction that God is not a being, but God is being itself. And God's essence and God's existence are coincidental. They, they coincide because God is not made up of parts. God is just what God is. And that has a lot of implications. It means that God doesn't change, obviously. I mean, everyone knows that, but that is why. And it means that the way we relate to God... It means the way we relate to God is different than any other being in the universe. We relate to existence by existing. Therefore, everything we do is participation. And so, in a way, the only way that you can disconnect by checking out of reality. And actually, we do that a lot in our hearts, in our minds. But it is a comforting thing to know that by being present and being real and being here is how we participate in knowing God. Like, as just a first given, it's not like through some like crazy spiritual, you have to jump through all of these hoops, you have to read your Bible every day, you, ha you know, like existence is the first place to go and it's the only place you can really be. And that's how we participate. I think that is where the divine simplicity has taken me. If God is being and not a being, it means that all of our experiences are contained in God and nothing is disconnected. If God is the source and if God participates, if God's very essence is the foundation of participation, it means everything is connected. Absolutely everything. And that means everything can be a, a form of guidance and that means everything can be a way of connecting to the experience of everyone else. And I think Jesus figured this out or knew this or believed this when he said what you do to the least of these you do to me. And it indicates that um, God is intimately connected with every form of being and every way of being in this world. And I, m I mentioned this I guess in the video I made when I was talking about God experiencing all suffering. This is how God does it. Because if God is a being, that means God can separate himself from other things. But if God is simple and God's essence and existence are the same, and if God is being itself, that means wherever being is, that's where God is. And there, that is how God is connected to everything. And that changes a lot of theology. I mean, it did for me at least. And like, I don't know, I didn't grow up Catholic, so I wasn't really, um, 
I was introduced a little bit to Thomas Aquinas, who sort of wrote about this quite extensively, um, but I wasn't really given a lot. I was just given a few here and there. Yeah, that is the fundamental hope, I think, in Christianity, that if the shape of God is the shape of reality, and if God is a benevolent is if God is benevolent, it means reality is benevolent. It means the universe is a safe place, and it means that everything is connected, and every every experience of joy, every experience of sorrow and loss is all connected and all usable and redeemable in God and in the experience of God. And if the shape of reality and the shape of God are the same, it means that the universe is personal and you can relate to reality in a personal way. And Christians do that through Jesus. And it's still the divine simplicity that connects all these things. Because if it wasn't that way, then you could fragment the universe and you could separate it out and you could say, oh yeah, this is good and this is not, like God is not this. And, and it's the divine simplicity that holds us together, but it's the particularity of Jesus that also, within that, that allows us to see God in a personal way as well. It doesn't all fit in my brain, but that shift from God is a being to God is being, it opens up so much, and it opens you up to the relatedness of the universe. And I found it super, super helpful to make that shift. And I think that's all I'm going to say today. Now I'm going to go read a book.